My most challenging tenure was Chinar Corps commander. I took over the Chinar Corps or the responsibility of Chinar Corps on 10th of February 2019. And as you are aware, 14th February 2019, Pulwama IED blast happened. I was merely four days into my job and a terrorist attack of this magnitude happened. Now, overcoming your apprehensions or overcoming the situation is something which is taught to us from the day one. We never allow the situation to overtake you. We looked at the situation, we looked at the damage which has been done. Now, there are a lot of discussion that evening in a meeting which I was part of as to why this happened, as to who did it, as to why this was done or this was not done. So my point was, sir, all these are aspects which will come out in the inquiry as to why this car with the explosives could get into the convoy, why the convoy was at this stage, why there was a bulletproof or no bulletproof, leave it aside. Today, we have to make sure we get the people, the module which has, you know, did this uh, ID blast. So we got down to the task and next 48 hours we got the information and we launched an operation with precision. Okay, this uh, 100 hours, we eliminated the Yashem Muhammad module. Let me tell you, it didn't happen because it was supposed to happen. No, people worked for it. And now I'll tell you how we got these people in 100 hours. It is not that uh, they came and uh, came into a trap and we eliminated them. We worked for it. Biggest thing after such an incident is the terrorist would move from place A to place B and will not make any communication or will not let their uh, place of holding up known to anyone. Like if you have seen some Hindi movies, underground ho jau. Now underground hone ke liye, they have to just get into some safe place. Our aim was not to let them get into that safe place. We for the next 48 hours carried out so many speculative operations that we made sure they will move. If they have to move, they have to tie up their accommodation at the next place. If they have to tie up the accommodation next place, they have to make communication calls. Somebody will have to go and check that place. If that happens, there is a movement which will be observed. If that happens, there will be communication which will be picked up. And that's exactly what we did. For 48 hours, we did not let them rest. Wherever they were going, we were hitting. So they were shifting bases. So subsequently, we got the precise information and we knew that they're going to leave that place by next morning, four o'clock. We hit that place by midnight. And we eliminated the module within 100 hours, rest as they say is history. So Pulwama and how the intelligence agencies and security forces work in unison was a classic example of synergy. And the team security forces, that includes Army, Jammu Kashmir Police, CRPF, intelligence agencies and civil administration, they work hand in hand with only one aim, which I talked earlier. The team's aim has to be achieved. No individual glories. Individual glories will come on their own, only if the team achieves the aim. So this management lesson, I would request everyone to take home.